Happy Wednesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name is Caroline. Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, going to be a Floss Tube video today, and it's been it's been a while. I think last recorded a video a week and a half ago, Friday, from the cottage. Anyways, my name's Caroline. Welcome back, and. Uh, I, I thought maybe I'd do another little introduction, reintroduction today. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for thanks for coming to hang out for a little bit. I um, I have so many things to talk about that uh, you know when I thought about about finally sitting down to record a video, I thought it's going to take me forever to get through all the things that I want to share and talk about, and um, you know timing for me at the moment is time is short and so and I've, I've really missed so uh, many of you will know that for for a long time I rec was recording daily videos for almost a year I recorded daily videos and they were you know anywhere from 10 minutes to to well I think it was rare when I put out a 45 minute daily video but I really miss it. I really miss that kind of daily check-in, communicating with, feeling like, you know, part of, part of the, a little bit more part of the online community. So it's, it's felt a little bit like it's been missing from my life. Uh, I, I guess that's pretty normal. That happens when we get busy, right? So um, I thought, you know what, let's just jump in. Let's just jump in and do just pick pick one of the things that you need to talk about <laughs> need to I need to tell you so many things I want to share um, so just pick one thing and then tomorrow I'll I'll try to come back and do another you know I, I'm, I can't I can't promise that I'm gonna come back and do daily videos because the problem with me and when I say things like that this is why I'm one of those people who has trouble setting goals and stating them publicly because more often than not something happens like I'm going to finish this project by the end of the month and then I don't do it and then I feel immense guilt that I said I was going to do something and I didn't do it and I for me I feel like my stitching my crafting should be should be pleasurable should be enjoyable and that's just not my personality to um, you know, I'm very easily distracted. So if, you know, a shiny new project comes along or I really want to stitch this or I don't feel like working on that all of a sudden, I want to work on something else. So getting into that sort of what I feel to me feels like a trap of saying I'm going to do something and then I don't follow through. It's, uh, it's really hard to feel okay with that. So, uh, but I do want to be in this space more often. So we're going to go with it and let's just see what happens because I've, I've, I've really missed you guys. So today I picked Christmas in July because that's really what is floating my boat at the moment. Um, I've got two projects. Well, I've got three projects. <sighs> you know, we, many of us in the community, uh, found out yesterday about the, 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 so sad the the passing of Barb Adams of Blackbird Designs and um, you know she was she was a huge part of this community so so many Blackbird design stitchers out there um, Barb and Elma's patterns are beloved and you know uh, truly a loss for those of you who were um, friends of of Barb's um, I know you're I know you're feeling that that this loss particularly hard uh, so Christmas in July, I was sort of focusing on two pieces, but then, you know, um, when I heard the news about Barb's passing, it reminded me of, you know, because everyone has been, you know, bringing out their Blackbird design pieces to work on and social media has been very beautifully flooded with, um, happy memories and, um, shared, shared, shared memories and pieces of, of Barb and almost. And so it reminded me. Of, a, of my Blackbird design piece that of course is still unfinished. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. It's not about that. Um, this is the uh, Seasons 
Loose Feathers Seasons. And this is what I have so far. And as you can see, when I left off, I was working on the winter section. So it's fitting that this month, um, you know, that I'm kind of focusing on Christmas in July, that we should have a bit of winter theme in there as well. So uh, when I made the move, um, I, I was going to do another reintroduction, wasn't I? And then I sort of blew past that. Okay, so let's back up. Let's back up a step. My name is Caroline. I live in London, Ontario, Canada. I have been recording floss tube videos since 2017. Um, the beginning of July 2017 so I guess it's also a little bit of my floss tube anniversary as as it were and um, in 2017 I also uh, started up a part-time business with my sister-in-law called Evertote um, we started making project bags for crafters and then uh, sh I think it was early 2018 I took over the business by myself my sister-in-law already had a full-time job um, so and and the, the the business was really picking up at the time I was also uh, teaching private music lessons from my home that's that's what my professional background training is in I'm a musician um, but you know the the project bag business Evertote started uh, you know I was getting busier and so I took over the business by myself and I have been doing so ever since. And then a few months back in April, I moved the business out of my home into a dedicated workshop space. And uh, I now have a few people here helping me out. So it's been, uh, it's been, a, it's been a wild ride the last few years. Um, what else can I tell you? I have, my husband is, his name is John and we have two children their names are sarah and nicholas sarah is 20 and nicholas just turned 13. um the name of my channel off the grid needle arts uh it is named for my love of our off the grid home uh in the summer we have a cabin that was built by my husband and we are and it's up off the grid in georgian bay ontario Canada so um, that's the name of the channel we don't uh, we're we are off the grid there so that's why when I was naming the channel um, off the grid needle arts just sort of felt like it was a good fit so that's it so not sure there's anything else about me that I can tell you that's overly interesting I'm a bit of a dog fan I am a bit dog crazy actually um, and my current dog Luna You'll, uh, you might hear her snoring today. She is once again beside me. She does come to the workshop with me most days. So, um, oh, and I'm a big fan of coffee. That is, oh, here's Luna. There she is right there. <laughs> this is one of my favorite mugs. Um, I, Many of you will know this already, but if you, if you are new here, um, this was painted by a very talented artist named Charlie Waters, and her partner John Valentine is the potter, and um, uh, you can find them at aprairiepotter.com, and uh, they will work with you to create a mug. This was a gift from my friend Ellen of Maximum Cross Stitch Power Hour, so shout out to Ellen for providing my morning coffee mug of love um so yes my blackbird design you'll notice uh i i do tend to i did mention that i'm easily sidetracked i i believe so yes sometimes stories tend to go in a in a circular manner but i do generally tend to circle back to what i was talking about before my blackbird designs piece um i am stitching this on a Oh dear. It it looks like doubloon. Uh picture this plus doubloon. And it is a 32 count, yeah, it's 32. 32 count linen and uh it, it's just gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. So, 32 count doubloon. And again, it's the loose feathers. Now, they are the seasons, but there's only 3 seasons. 
so as charted you can stitch these as individual these were out of print for many years and they were it was really hard to get your hands on the pattern but my understanding is that they re-released them last year year before I'm not exactly sure but you can pretty sure you can buy these charts again they're easy to find now so winter let's see maybe I can even finish the alphabet but remember no promises right we should stitch stitch what we want stitch what makes you happy I think that's what Brenda of Brenda and Laura Brenda and the cereal starter said stitch what makes you happy so it's making me happy all right so Christmas in July I have been busily working on my Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needle Arts Needleworks Country Cottage Cottage Country Needle <laughs> every time every single time one of these times I'll get it right and it'll be like a magical unicorn surprise we'll all be shocked when that happens um, I am stitching I, I it's on my lap frame and I did not feel like hauling that into work today so what I did was I took a quick little video so that I could pop it in here so that I could show you my progress because I'm almost finished mrs. Claus's cookie shop it is it is almost done so let me just pop that video in right here so here it is mrs. Claus's cookie shop is so close to being done and here's the whole top row almost finished So this fabric is, uh, I figured this out from a piece I found in my stash. It's a 36 count pearl barley. I'm pretty sure that's a picture of this plus fabric. So it's a linen, obviously. 36 count, two over two, and I'm using the called for floss that it's charted for, except I did do a substitution in the roof here. I didn't have, what is it called for? Calls for... Three three two eight, yeah, DMC three three two eight, and I I didn't have that, so I've substituted in uh, DMC twenty one. So it describes it as dark salmon, and I I have a DMC color card, so I can you know I can check out the color that I'm missing and uh, substitute it with something that I have in my stash that's close. So doing these snowflakes is really fun. They're really fun. The French knots were not so fun. So I got them out of the way. Cute, super cute. So I smell a small little mini finish coming up. Told ya, I'm almost done. So close. Um, I think I have a photo of where it was when I started sort of reworking on this a couple weeks ago. I was missing one of the DMC colors. I think it was, yeah, it was the 435. DMC 435 for the cookie in the little sign and the cookies on the tray. Have you noticed that the cookies are like the size of Mrs. Claus's head? <laughs> like, that's some perspective there. Like. We all want gigantic chocolate chip cookies that are the size of our heads. So I think that that's, um, that's a little bit of Christmas magic right there. So um, the details on that are, I can't remember if I said this in the, the little video clip that I did or not, so I'll just say it again. It's a 30, if I, if I did say it, pardon me for repeating myself if I am. It's a 36 count pearl barley by Picture This Plus and I'm stitching two strands of floss over two threads of the linen and I'm using the called for colors that they are that it's charted for so there's there's some um, one one of the things about that Santa's village you can there they all come as individual designs there are 12 of them and you can stitch them individually, you know, do like little pill pillow finishes or ornaments for your Christmas tree, or you can stitch them all as one design, which is clearly how I'm doing it. Um, there's always a little bit of people who are stitching this are like, what do I do about the candy cane border? Do I stitch the candy cane border as charted? So that means that you're stitching it all the way across 
and then doing it again for each row. And then I think it was Vanna, the Twisted Stitcher, who first did the candy cane border where she did it all the way around the outside of the piece and then didn't do the borders on the inside. And I know Christine, uh, Stitch All The Things, I know she finished her Big Santa's Village a few years back now. Um, and I'm going to have to go and see if I can find her video on that because I can't quite remember how Christine did it. My plan is to just stitch the candy cane border for each row and not all the way around the outside, just for each row. That's how I've seen it done lots and I, I like it and um, I just want it, I just want it to hang on my wall during the month of December for my kids and my possibly future grandchildren. So we shall see. All right, the other thing, the other thing that I have big intentions to work on in the month of July to celebrate Christmas in July is my just stitching along Miss Margaret Ann Rollo 1869 because I have to stitch this. So this I have been keeping in my super special project bag that was sent to me by friend and viewer Rose Heck and many of you will know Rose from um, the traditional stitches floss tubes. She occasionally will do one with Janice. Um, and Rose, Rose Heck was, was the very capable leader of the Ann Morrison sampler, uh, traditional stitches sampler stitch along, uh, which <laughs> we're not gonna talk about my Ann Morrison sampler. We're just not even gonna go there. However, Rose sent me this beautiful project bag that she made and I love it. And so I keep my, I keep my Miss Margaret Ann Rollo in here. Um, so I have, oh yeah, she, I have my needle minder too. She made this and she sent this to me with it. So this is the needle minder that I, I alternate. I have a little snowflake that I use as well, but I love this. So that stays in my project bag with my whip. I know, and there's there's jewelry on it. You hear that? The jingle? She made this really sweet zipper pull. And I, I, there's a little perfectionist tendency here. I love these tags, but I hate writing on them because I feel like then it's, then it's been used up, right? And then when I put the next project in there, it's been used up. I could just put a new one on there. Sometimes the brain is a funny, weird thing. So my project bag from Rose holds my Margaret Ann Rollo sampler. And this was the, um, this was the chart that came out with the Christmas holiday collection that I put out through Evertote last Christmas. Um, with Krista Gramer of just stitching along and um, there was some really there was some really beautiful 12 days of Christmas fabric uh, that I that I had along with the kit and this was the chart and what Krista did was she charted the original sampler because what was really quite special about this sampler was that it was done by a girl from Ontario Canada where I'm from and um, if you don't know this whole story uh, I'll just I'll just quickly read you the back. See, this is why daily videos, because I'm so chatty. I'll do like an hour long video, and then I'll be like, I haven't told you half the things that I need to tell you. So, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. Margaret Ann was 15 years old when she stitched her sampler. From my research, I learned that she was born in 1854 and hailed from the Northumberland, Ontario, Canada region. Her father was Scottish and her mother was Irish. They settled in Ontario as farmers and Margaret Ann was one of nine children. She married Robert Walker Michael John in 1880, who was also one of nine children. That might also be Michael John. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly. They settled in Rodden Hastings, Ontario and continued a life of farming as their parents had done before them. Margaret Ann and Robert had six children five sons and one daughter. Margaret Ann lived quite a long life for those times to the age of 81. Now, further to this, Krista actually tracked down um, family, ancestors of Miss Margaret Ann 
and she was able to return the sampler to them so that they will have a little piece of their ancestral history. Isn't that wonderful? I just, I love that story so much. So when Krista was recharting this for, um, you know, for, for our kit, um, she incorporated an extra band at the bottom that, that says Merry Christmas. And so if you want to add the Merry Christmas border, you can just add it in. She also charted um, some ornaments with the pattern and I actually have this model it's still at home um, but she sent me this model it's so beautiful actually she sent me both models uh, they're just stunning 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 and it's just been at the back of my mind that I just I have to stitch this so Christmas in July let's do it so are you ready to see my my progress that's it. That's all I have. So this is, let's put some, something behind it there. Uh, oh, it's the fabric. It's a silk weaver. I think it's just called taupe and it is a 32 count and I'm stitching two over two. So, yep. I think Last week I put in, I think I put in three letters, maybe even just two. <laughs> maybe it was the U and the V, maybe that's it. However, I'm gonna finish up that cookie shop and this I, I plan on putting a few stitches in this weekend. So that's it for me for Christmas in July. I did receive a little gifty in the mail, so that kind of fits into the whole Christmas in July mail. I am in an, a stitch along with uh, some very illustrious stitchers who are stitching the Joan Sands sampler, uh, the Hogmanay sampler from, from Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. And um, one of the members of that group, Gwyneth, uh, you can find Gwyneth on Instagram at curling, curling, oh boy, I see it every day in the messages, curling stones and X stitches, something like that. I will link to Gwyneth uh, in the, I'll put it, I'll put it up right on the screen so you can follow her on Instagram. Her stitching is beautiful. And Gwyneth made little treats for the members of the Sal. And one of them was this beautiful um, thread drop floss keeper that has Joan Sands on it. And then now, curling stones. Gwyneth is a curler. If you are Canadian, you are well familiar with the sport of curling. Now, Gwyneth is hardcore. She's, I think she's in like five different, um, like she, cur she curls like every day. And so she made us little Bonspiel needle minders. Look at that. Did I get the, is it a Bonspiel? I just call them curling rocks. Is it called a Bonspiel, Gwyneth? Did I get it right? So it's a needle minder. Look at that. It's so cute. It is so cute. I love it. Thank you, Gwyneth. Thank you very much. So that was my little gifty that came in the mail, which was which was such a nice surprise. Um, so that's it for Christmas and July stitching personal stuff that I'm working on. I am having a little bit of a sale in the shop at the moment to for Christmas in July. Uh, you know, there's a lot of new stuff coming into the shop in the upcoming months. So the very last of my 12 days of Christmas print, um, I've, I've cut it up. It's in flat medium, uh, wet, uh, not wedge totes, excuse me, the flat medium cross stitch totes. I think I have 20 left and that's it for that fabric. So they are 15% off and once they're gone, that's it. I actually just received my first shipment of, well, there's a lot happening in the next few months, let me just tell you that. But I just got my first real like Christmas Christmas fabric, uh, just came in yesterday and it's, uh, it's gonna be a big year. It's gonna be a great, great fun holiday year for lots to do, lots to do, lots coming up. 
Um, the other things that I need to share are, um, I, I don't want to gloss over them because they're actually, you know, they, they matter uh, to people and I want to make sure that I do them justice. So just to give you a little bit of a, of a taste and I'm going to talk more about it tomorrow. Um, but I've mentioned uh, Deborah, uh, Deborah, who is Suri Mini on Instagram and uh, she had sent me some project bags. You will remember this very special project bag that Deborah made for me. Actually, my, my Joan Sands floss is in here. Um, I have it on a, a wooden, I need to do a Nicole's Needleworks and you know, tidy up my floss. I've got it on a wooden thread keep and because, because Gwyneth sent us these, I'm gonna transfer it over to my, my floss drop. So Deborah had made this amazing, look at the stitching on that, it's gorgeous. And then she turned it into a, a project bag for me. Um, and so my Joan Sands things go in here. But to tell you more about Deborah, so two things, first of all, Deborah has created a wonderful, wonderful chart for um, bereaved parents, pregnancy loss, um, miscarriage. It, it, it is just a beautiful chart. Um, I'll pop in a little photo of it here. Photo of it here, and then um, 100% of the proceeds of this chart are being donated to a bereavement uh, parents group, a group uh, that, that helped them out during the, the loss of their baby. So I will leave a link in the drop down box below so that you can check it out. But I wanted to, uh, Deborah had sent me a beautiful letter um, to accompany her chart and to, to share it with you. And I wanna make sure that, that, um, that I share her words with you because uh, it, it's very meaningful and I think that uh, the chart, the, the proceeds from that will do a lot of good. The more we talk about these things, the more we share these challenges and, and terrible moments in our lives. We find common ground with other people that we never expected to find and, and sharing those things can bring a lot of comfort mm -hmm. to, to someone who you have no idea what they've gone through. Um, in their in their personal life that we don't see behind closed doors or that you don't see behind the lens of camera. So, um, so yes, Deborah's chart. Now, the other thing, Deborah had sent me two project bags, and the second project bag I have kept in a pristine state, and I'm actually going to be loading that in for auction along with a set of floss for the Modern Folk Embroidery Rule of Life. Um, chart and design by Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery. I've been running some auctions over on my Instagram page. I have two Instagram accounts. You can find me, my more personal side of things is at Off The Grid Needle Arts, and then my, my Instagram page for the shop is at Evertotes. And um, I've been running some auctions over on the Evertotes Instagram page for the Indian Residential School Survivor Society. 100% of the money raised through these auctions is being directly donated by the winning bidder to the society, and then the auction item is then sent to them. We have a wonderful, wonderful donation this week from Michelle Bendy. Um, it, is a, it is the fully kitted Mabel Tukes um, sampler that was the, um, Oh boy, I'll I'll put the I'll try to I'll try to put the information on the screen, um, and I'll put up a picture of the auction item at the end of this video so that you can see the auction is still open. Uh, it is ending tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you have until then to get your bid in. This is a bid what you want item, and um, the other thing is we have a lovely book from, um, donated from Jesse again. It's a signed copy of Broken. Um, from many of you will know the blogger uh, Scary Mommy and it is her book it's a signed copy and that auction item actually from Jesse just to be clear is only going to ship to a US bidder because it's a book it's heavy the postage is going to be very expensive and of course Jesse is paying for the postage to ship it to the winner so that item is only um, for US bidders 
the Mabel Tukes, um, Michelle has very generously offered to ship it anywhere in the world. So these prizes are very generously donated. And just to get back to Jesse for a moment, Jesse was the donator of the um, the the Twisted Rainbow sampler a couple weeks back, and you can find her on Instagram. Um, as at mislaid pages and through her Instagram page it will there's a link in her in her Instagram page that will take you over to her shop where she actually sells that twisted band sampler with the full dinky dyes silk pack it's a beautiful beautiful set you can buy it through her I think at the moment she's taking pre-orders for it um, and it's the Northern Expressions Needleworks pattern. You're able to get it in either the cross stitch version or the specialty stitches version. So go and check out Jessie's shop. She's been a wonderful provider of, of auction items for raising some money. So speaking on the, um, the raising money front, um, we raised $1,400 Canadian the first week of auctions. We raised $630 in our second week of auctions, which is just wonderful. Really, really wonderful. So a huge thanks to Jacob of Modern Folk Embroidery who donated PDF charts. Um, Michelle Bendy who donated the floss at the beginning. We, we've just had, it's been, it's been incredible. And Jesse, of course, who's donated um, both last week and this week. And um, yeah, go check out her shop at Miss Laid Pages. You can find her on Instagram. And um, <sighs> phenomenal. So the auction closes for Mabel Tukes and the Broken Book closes tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bid what you want. 100% of your donation, you donate it directly to the charity. None of that money goes through me or anyone else who's donating the prizes. Um, what else? I will not be putting up Deborah's item tomorrow. I'm gonna to take a week off of new auctions, but I am gonna load it in next Thursday. But I'll, I'll let you know before it goes in, and then it'll be available for a week. And I'm, I'm hoping to have one or two other items as well to auction up next week. And I think that's it. So my coffee's cold now because I chatted for so long. I swear in my head, I thought this was gonna be a 10 minute video. Clearly it's not. But that's okay. I'm, I've missed doing this so much and I'm so happy to be back. So thank you for letting me chatter on. I have, I have so much, so much more to share. Um, I have started both of my stitch alongs, the Modern Folk Embroidery Rule of Life, the Leo and Roxy Spring Quaker Conversion stitch along that I am co-hosting with Cheeky Mare. Um, Libby Stitches, oh my goodness. It's not Libby Stitches, it is Cheeky Mare. Uh, her name is Libby. Uh, you can find her YouTube channel um, as Cheeky Mare. Again, link in the drop down box below. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for, uh, let's, let's do the math here. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, four years. <laughs> You know, we don't talk about, we don't talk about math here. So, so four years, four years of floss tube goodness. And I feel pretty lucky to be a part of this community. Thanks for having me. And on that note, I will say goodbye. I have some sewing to do today. Lots and lots and lots of sewing to do today, but I will be back. I'll be back soon. So have a great day. Happy stitching everyone. I hope that you're well. I hope that you're safe and that you have some crafting to help occupy and keep you happy. Take care everybody. Happy stitching.